This is the brand new 2022 Porsche Tycoon Turbo S in Need for Speed Unbound. Now this is introduced in the volume four update. It's very easy to unlock. You just need to go into the all new Porsche Unleashed playlist, complete it three times over and you unlock this car to buy for 250K cash from the dealership. Now, of course, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's buy this real quick. So there we go. We now have this. It's also the first electric car that they've actually added to Unbound, which is pretty sick. And first off, you already know, we've got to be checking out these body kits so without further ado please tell me there is there is okay sick right so you've got four different body kits we've obviously we've got the standard Porsche Taycan you know there's nothing on it it's just as it is and then we've got we've got this one here not bad pretty interesting it's got Bit, bit of a wide body to it, to be fair. Then we've got another one here, okay. This one looks more like exotic, you know. And then we've got this one here, which is basically this kit, just a bit wider. I feel like I prefer that one more, or I at least want to get that, but then swap around the bumper and stuff. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So yeah, let's, let's get that one, but then go into body parts and edit out that front bumper to what was it this one here i think wasn't it yeah right that is looking much better i'm sure some of you will let me know in the comments if you don't think that is the case but yeah i think i think it's pretty sweet i can't lie can obviously change the hood as well i'll probably just keep the one we've actually already got can't do anything to the headlights except for maybe change the color so let's chuck them to black tail lights we can change the darkness of them so let's make them black bunch of different spoilers that we can actually change i mean if, if you want to put a big spoiler on it you can i'm not going to trunk lid you can obviously change it if you really want to i'll just keep it to what we've got uh you can obviously oh you can remove it as well okay so if you if you want to remove the bumper and stuff that that is an option <laughs> Okay, so if you add a diffuser, it actually gets rid of that part of the bumper. That is mad. Man, the customization already is mental. Oh, we can make them a bit lower than what we've got already. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with them. You can remove the front bumpers. That's actually so cool, man, that, that Porsche have allowed this kind of customization to the Taycan. You can just add the splitter if you want to. I'm not gonna bother. This is the car fully customized. We've obviously got the body kit. We changed around a few of the different parts. I need to change the plate. I always forget to do that. A huge fan of the customization on this. It's really, really good on the Taycan, but let's see what performance upgrades we can hopefully do to this car. So in terms of performance, as you can probably imagine, we can't swap an engine into an electric car. Makes sense, it would've been pretty cool if Porsche would've allowed that, but I completely get it. But in terms of parts, we've actually got some new parts. So we've got a bunch of different stuff. So we've got motor parts, so we've got battery cooling, we've got an ECU, which we've obviously got before, we've got a power system, motor components, the uh, natural aspiration, like the turbo and supercharger and stuff, obviously is locked. And then we've got the overcharge, which is a brief but powerful surge of electricity to the motor. So let's go through these. We're going to be putting the best parts in. I, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm spending all my money on making this the best it can possibly be. It's at, what, 832 horsepower just off that one upgrade alone. Okay, right, the ECU's done some work. <laughs> it's got 1,200 horsepower, bruh. This thing is gonna be absolutely rapid. 1,500, there's no way, it's at 1,700 horsepower. Right, what's this gonna get to? It didn't get, I was hoping it would push it to 2K, but still, 1,700 horsepower is absolutely insane. Let's just give it elite everything. 1.9 seconds, zero to 60, what? Bruh, I am blown away by this. This is so awesome. So that's the customization done on this car. And yeah, I am amazed by this. Hopefully my PC doesn't crash again. I don't think it likes me recording with OBS with my camera and everything. It looks like we're going into this on our own. We've got three different race events coming up. We obviously can't test it against other players, but at least this way we can just see what the car's like and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty decent. I mean, the 0 to 60 is mental. It's got an all right top speed. I mean, even for S Plus, I'm sure it'll still be all right with the acceleration it's got. Obviously, this first race that we're starting off in has got a lot of turns, I think. This car will actually hold its own in events like this compared to, obviously, likes of the Regera and the Chiron and stuff. So it is awesome that we got our first electric car. 
in Unbound, or just Need for Speed in general, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's the first electric car we've had. I don't know if it's been on any of the mobile games that have released. I've not played them myself, but if they have, let me know in the comments. But this also means that this is hopefully the first of many electric cars coming to the game, because surely they wouldn't go through all of that to add all new parts and everything for just one car, you know? So hopefully, we could see stuff like the Avaya in the future, maybe the Rimac, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, it'd be sweet if we could see other electric cars pop up. I'm not huge on them, but it's obviously still a nice option to have amongst everything else. The Porsche Taycan is definitely a solid choice that they've added for the cars. I wasn't expecting an electric car to actually be added to Need for Speed. But yeah, it's, out, out of all of them, it, it's pretty sweet. And as you can see through this race, it is quick as well. It is very fast. And there we go, that is the first race done in 1 minute 30. Absolutely smashed it. Oh man, I've got the I've got the oval track. I completely forgot that was in here. Oh bro. Okay, well, it's just me on my own. I think there's only like four laps or something, isn't it? So again, we'll probably get this done in like a couple of minutes. Easy peasy. I don't think there's like any tuning or anything I can actually do to this car to like make it even faster. It unfortunately doesn't reach 200 miles an hour which is 199 which is really annoying i was hoping let's see if we can get it to 200 after this turn no oh okay right i saw it for a, a very brief second so it did it did manage to reach 200 and across the line in one minute 21 even less than what we had before here we go man i'm never gonna get tired of the acceleration on this car absolute rocket look at it go man Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Did you see it like it like fully just caught flight there? I feel like this car will actually be pretty good when it comes to the activities around Lakeshore as well. Especially the hot lap activities because it can hold its speed very well. So I'm gonna have to try that out at some point. Oh, the bridge went up a bit of air. Oh my god, that was way too close to that car. It's actually mad because it can still somewhat drift, even with like a full grip build. Oh. Oh, I was so close to that wall then, man. Send it through here, and then it's literally, I'm pretty sure it's a straight now, isn't it? Through the billboard, taking out all the cones on the way. There we go. <laughs> I did get a bit distracted and decided to do one of these as I haven't seen one in a very long minute. <laughs> in a very long time. Yeah, they have updated them now with like the spawn time. So I think they're like every half an hour. So they're not as often as before. You still obviously get the same amount of money and stuff, but I think it encourages people to actually do race events and stuff. But what I did experience from doing that is that this car is very good at drifting. I did put uh, drift tires and stuff on this and it's actually really good. I'll try and find like a few corners coming up or something, but we've got a drift zone here. Let's have a look if it is as good as what I'm saying it is. That or I'm washed, one or the other. But yeah, as you can see, it, it gets the back end out. I'm getting chased by the cops, which is annoying. But that is fine. We can still do this in the meantime. Now, I'm not going for anything specific with this. I just want to obviously show that it can drift. Why are you there? Got to get two stars at least, right? Nice. So it's very good in S+. Plus. It can drift. And it's just an all-round pretty decent car. So yeah, definitely recommend going to get this. Nice and easy to get. Do three of the Porsche Unleashed playlists. And then you can buy it for 250k. It will also be available in single player to purchase as well once you've unlocked it in multiplayer. As always, thank you for watching. Go get the Porsche Taycan for yourself and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.